Hi, it's Vinitali Tour US 2011. We are with Alfonso Cebola, he's a major builder for uh, Glazer Wineries. Uh, we want to ask you, uh, nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Okay, we wanted to ask you in, in front of that, uh, how is the world of internet and social networks and blogs and all this thing, how they're changing the wine market in the US and in the world in general? Well, I think they're just adding, adding layers of discussion to the already uh, the humans that are already discussing in person. So whether you and I are talking like you and I are now, or we're being seen on the internet 100 miles away or two weeks from now, um, it's just an extension of that conversation that we've been having about wine for the last eight years. Uh, now, in a in few years, there's uh, already a lot of instruments on social networks about wine. They said there are uh, over 400 app app applications for iPhone and for iPad for wines. Do you think this is already too much? Um, you know, I think it'll, whatever people are using that, are, that will become dominant will, will sort itself out. It's like when you go into a wine store or you go to a wine list and you see a certain amount of wines. You're going to choose the wine you want to have with the food you're having, or sorry, or you're going to choose in the store the wine you want to you want to have. So I'm not so worried about the many applications that are out there. I think the cream rises and people who want they'll find the ones that really work for them, and different people will find different uses for them as well. So they don't cost that much to make. Uh, they're part of the discussion, and so while they're around, until we figure out which ones are really uh, the dominant ones, uh, I don't have any problem with any of them. Okay, there's a debate between um, famous and old uh, critics of wine and new bloggers and young bloggers. In your opinion, what is of the two the best that suits your, your firm, or in general, what of the two are more influencing? Well, I, I still think that the established journalists, whether they're Robert Parkins in the world, or the wine speaker, the wine enthusiasts, or those people, um, and not just a limit to those those people, because it's you know, Jancis Robinson, yeah, yeah, yeah. etc. I, I think they have a their place. Um, people like to make a controversy between them and the bloggers, and even I read things today. Uh, an interview with Robert Parkins who said something about a blogger's not being very uh, prepared or professional. I think that's just more of a, a way to get people. Um, to get some conflict going, to get to get a discussion. I don't see that necessarily as a bad thing. I, I just see it as people trying to put the a little bit of gasoline on the flame. But ultimately, we're going to put a steak on the flame, and we're going to cook a nice steak to go with a bottle of red wine that we either get information from Robert Parker, or we get it from a blogger, or from ourselves. Yeah, correct. And, and for, uh, last issue, uh, in Italy, world tour, US tour, and free adjectives. Um, pretty darn good. Uh, <laughs> These are three words, not three adjectives. <laughs> okay, three adjectives. Um, and you gotta remember that I live in Texas now, so um, I'd say um, sexy. You gotta look around here. Um, juicy and uh, stimulating. Okay, thanks. 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 <laughs>